Oh, it'll be nice to relax for a little while at the Pokemon Center. Huh? Yeah. Whoa, maybe I spoke too soon. What happened here? I don't know, but it's not like Nurse Joy to be so messy. Pika Pee! May, Ash, am I glad to see you. What happened, Nurse Joy? Oh, you know, just a young Larvitar trying out its sandstorm attack after I healed it. Wow! I guess that's why we practice with our Pokémon outside or in gyms. Well, it happens sometimes with Pokémon. I'm sure it didn't mean it. I'm just so busy with the other Pokémon, I haven't had a chance to fix the place back up yet. Well, we'd be happy to help you clean up the place. Yeah! Pika! Really? That would be great. Of course. Leave it to us. You're the best. Help yourself to my tools. They're in the cabinet. I've got Pokemon to take care of inside. Okay, don't worry. We'll have this place good as new in no time. Oh, thanks. That will be a big help. No problem. After all, you're always fixing up Pokemon. The least we can do is fix up this lobby. Oh, <laughs> oh please. It's my job. And I better get back to it. So I'll see you later. Later. Let's go check out those tools to see what's there. Good idea, May. There are a lot of different tools here. I know. But which ones are right for each job? I have no clue. Pika. Nurse Joy is busy. Who could we ask? Let's call Ciara at the Learning League Lab. I bet she can help us figure out these tools. Hey, Ciara. Oh, hi. Just give me a sec to finish this up. Wow, look at it go! That's so cool! Thanks. So what's up? We need to clean up the Pokemon Center to help out Nurse Joy. But first we need to figure out which tools we'll need to get the job done. What kind of tools do you have? Um, they're right here. Well, you're in luck. Those are all simple machines. Machines? I thought machines had motors and engines and lots of different parts. Sure, complex machines have those things. But simple machines have only one or two moving parts, or no moving parts at all. Really? And simple machines can help us get this mess cleaned up? Look at it this way. We use force to do work, like to push, pull, lift, or carry things. And simple machines help by taking the force we use and making it stronger. Okay, so what about this ladder here? That's an inclined plane. An inclined plane is something that tilts up or down at an angle. And when you lean a ladder against a wall, it tilts, right? Exactly. Now I see what you mean about simple machines. There aren't a lot of moving parts on a ladder. So the inclined plane helps us because we use it to climb up and down? Right. It's pretty hard to climb up the side of a house to clean the gutters or fix a window. You would need to use an awful lot of force to pull yourself up there. But it's easy with a ladder. Okay, but what about these nails? Is a nail a simple machine, too? Sure. Nails are wedges. That's a tool with a point or edge. Wedges are used to hold things together. Oh, I get it. A nail can hold two pieces of wood together. Exactly. Saws, knives, and axes are wedges, too. But instead of holding things together, they cut them apart. So, we know we have an inclined plane, and we've also got wedges. Anything else? You have a lever, too. Which tool is that? The crowbar. Like all levers, it's a bar that turns on a fixed point. You can slide it under something that's stuck to pry it loose. Where's the fixed point? That's the spot where the crowbar touches the ground. It tilts on that point. Now we've just got to figure out which simple machine is right for each job. Maybe you can help them. Want to try? First, they need to reach the top of the window so they can put the curtain rod back in place. Which tool should they use? Click on the right one. That's right. They can use the ladder, an inclined plane, to climb up and reach the curtains. Now for the broken chair. The leg came off. Which tool will help hold the pieces of the chair together? That's right. They can use the nails, which are wedges, to put the chair together. Now for the last job. A picture fell off the wall and into the trash can, and it's stuck down inside there pretty good. They have to lift it back up. Which tool should they use? That's right. They can use the crowbar, a lever, to pry the picture free. Thanks for your help. Everything is cleaned up. Now we've just got to put all these tools away. Beat up B. 
Maybe you can help them do that, too. Do you remember what kind of tool nails are? Drag them into the right toolbox. Are there any other kinds of wedges? Sure, a door stop is also a wedge. It helps hold a door in place. Okay, now what about the ladder? Where does that go? I bet I can think of another inclined plane. Stairs! We use stairs to climb from one place to another. That's right. There's one more inclined plane here, too. See if you can find it and drag it toward the right toolbox. We can use a ramp to push something heavy, like boxes or furniture, from one level to another. Looks like there are only two tools left. The crowbar and the hammer. They both go into the same toolbox. Can you drag them to the right one? So they're both levers. Yep, they both help pry things loose. So does a bottle opener. Then there are other kinds of levers that help push, pull, lift, or carry things. What are some of those? Brooms, oars, and seesaws. And you might be surprised to learn your arm is a lever. If you hold something in your hand, you can lift it or carry it by bending your elbow. That's the fixed point. Hey, how about that? Thanks for all your help, Ciara. No problem. You know, I could use some help, too. I've got some work to do here at the Learning League Lab. Just a little cleanup and a few repairs. I'm hoping you can help me pick the right simple machine for each job. First, let's check out the supply closet to see which tools to choose. Wow, there are lots of different tools here. I know that I'll need two levers, two wedges, and two inclined planes. Maybe you can help me pick them out. First, click on two levers. You've got 20 seconds to find them. Awesome! Awesome! Next, we need to find two kinds of wedges. Can you find them? You got it! You got it! And finally, we'll need two inclined planes. Which tools are those? Awesome! Awesome! Good job! Now that we've got the right tools, let's get to work. Okay. First, I need to move those boxes on top of that platform. Which tool should I use? I'll probably need a simple machine that helps raise or lower heavy things. Click on the right one. Awesome! I just took down some pictures, but the nails are still poking out of the wall. What should I use to pry them loose? You got it! Great! Now I've got to move all this dirt out of here. I'll probably need a lever. Which one should I choose? Awesome! Okay, after that I need to fasten those two pieces of wood together. They're for a gadget I'm working on. A hammer will help me do that, but what other kind of tool will I need? You got it! Next, I've got to bring in a chair from the next room. But I need a wedge to hold that door open. Which tool do you think I should use? Awesome! And finally, I've got to get that gadget off the shelf so I can finish it. What can I use to climb up and reach it? You got it! Good job. Let's see if those tools help me get all my work done. Everything is done.
Those simple machines really do the trick. Thanks again for all your help, Ciara. Sure thing. Bye. Bye. I was just coming to check on you, but you're already done, and the place looks as good as new. What's your secret? The right tools. And working together with my good friends. That's right. It would take a crowbar to pry us apart. Me and you. Here's a hint. They need to use an inclined plane to reach the curtains. Here's a hint. They need to use wedges to hold the chair together. Here's a hint. They need to use a lever to pry the picture free. Remember, a nail ends in a point. Look for something that tilts up or down. Both tools turn on a fixed point. Oops, not that one. Here's what we're looking for. Next, we need to find two kinds of wedges. Can you find them? Here's what we're looking for. Try again. Here's what we're looking for. I just took down some pictures, but the nails are still poking out of the wall. What should I use to pry them loose? 